Hi everyone, welcome back to MATLAB Fundamental Course. In this part, I would like to talk about format and I will expand that into future videos later, but this is actually essential for the rest of the course. So if I need to calculate 12 multiplied by 87, the MATLAB has no problem to calculate the result. And how about we go like 6.5 multiplied by 10 to power three. Hmm? How about that? So if I calculate this, MATLAB will give us the result. Now I'm using the upper arrow key to bring the last operation. And then I'm going to change this. Let's go to two. Uh, and I change the operation and put the negative sign in front of it. And if I calculate the result, you will notice that there's no problem with that too. So let me calculate the three. Hmm. No problem. But what happens if I calculate such a thing? Power 43. So if I calculate such a thing, the result here is 1.46 and a series of number. And then E, which stands for exponent, plus 10. So what it means? Let's calculate it. If I say 2.4 E plus 3 and hit enter, you will notice that the result is 2400. So we can conclude that E plus 3 stands for 10 to power 3. It's, it's another form of writing this. If I say 2.4 multiplied by 10 to power 3, you'll notice the result is the same. I can write it both way. But how about if I change this 2.4 e then negative 3. It will work the same way but now it is divided by 10 to power 3. I can easily say 2.4 multiplied by 10 to power negative 3 and you will see that the result is the same. So from now on to ease our calculations instead of using 10 squared or 10 cubed we can use exponent. The last part that I would like to talk in this video is introduction of the pi constant. The pi constant. This is one of the most widely used parameters and constant that we're gonna use that we will encounter in engineering field. The pi is introduced as pi. If I hit enter, the value is created. And as you know, this is not the long format. This is the short format that is sufficient for most of the engineering calculations. And we're going to stick to that throughout the course. And please notice that if you type capital PI, uh, well, it doesn't know it. And it will suggest to you that did you mean this one? And you will say yes. One of the reasons that I told you to upgrade to the latest version of MATLAB was this feature or the suggestion. In older versions, you either have to do it right or you have to go search for it. However, in newer versions, it will search it for you and just give you suggestion maybe and give you a smart suggestion so it can continue your work. And as all the other constants, you can use it as a cube. You can calculate that. Uh, definitely then you can say 2 pi minus pi plus pi divided by 2 squared and MATLAB has no problem calculating that for you or even you can say 34 to power pi so then you can do whatever you want with pi as a constant and we will work and practice on future examples which contains pi. 